So in lesson one, we consider the idea of goodness of fit. Uh, and goodness of fit, as the name suggests, is concerned with measuring how well an observed frequency fits to a known distribution. So we can collect some data, um, some actual results, and then we can look at those results and see how closely they would match what we'd expect to get uh, if we believed that the situation follows a particular distribution. So it's really a measure of the goodness of fit of how well some of the observed frequencies uh, match up to expected frequencies. In this um, example, the situation we have is rolling an ordinary dice 120 times. So we would expect each number to come up um, the same number of times. So our expected frequencies would be 20 uh, and our observed frequencies um, are given above. We can now have a look at how well those observed frequencies match up with the expected frequencies by considering goodness of fit. A simple bar chart gives us uh, an overall um, idea, visual idea of how closely observed frequencies match up with expected. But the idea of goodness of fit is to put some sort of numerical value uh, on um, this process and then look at to see whether that numerical value is significant or not. So the measure of goodness of fit is defined as follows. We measure the goodness of fit by considering the difference between the observed and the expected. Uh, we square to ensure that that difference is turned positive, and then we divide by the expected, and we sum up that for however number of comparisons that we're making. Okay, we use the symbol x squared rather than x, uh, just to indicate that it's never going to be negative. So this is our goodness of fit calculation. There's an alternative um, derivation shown uh, above, which could be quicker to uh, or easier to use. It's not provided on the formula booklet, but in reality, probably more often than not, you're going to do goodness of fit calculations on your calculator. Uh, we'll come to that uh, a little bit further on. So for the above example, using uh, both methods for calculating the goodness of fit, uh, we get a goodness of fit value of 3.4. Okay, if we're going to do a hypothesis test on that value, we would want to test the significance of this goodness of fit value, then our hypotheses would be H0. There is no difference between the observed and the theoretical against the alternative that there is a significant difference between the observed and the theoretical. And we'll look more at the hypothesis testing aspect of goodness of fit uh, further on in this pack. Uh, 